All right, so uh, I'm going to work in a pass that um, I like to use this pass a lot and it works really well. Uh, it works great against uh, flexible opponents. Uh, you know, sometimes people like to work. So we're going to shut down the, the space, right? Because every time like you give too much space to your opponent, he can set up like lasso, spider, the lahiva, scrambles, reverse the lahiva, one leg X. <laughs> See, like, because I'm here, he can do like so much, right? So what are you gonna do? We're gonna get on the half guard, okay, right here, and I gotta drop my knees on the floor, and I will have his shin, okay, right under my armpits, like this, okay. You can go with his hand under, right? But sometimes when you go with the hand under, like you can use this on his in his favor, like trying to go to my back, right? Or even like invert, like if I find someone really flexible, they can still like invert in here when I underhook. So I like overhook like this on the shin. So that way if you try to invert, it's a little bit harder for you to invert right now, okay? So there's different ways for me to uh, use this grip right here and this arm over his leg, okay? So right now, my arm, my armpit is over his shin, okay? If I can bring his, uh, his shin right on, uh, right on top of my uh, elbow right here, between my bicep and, and forearm, that'll be the perfect spot. So I push and then that's where I'm gonna get his leg. So I'll trap his leg right here. Okay, so once I trap his leg here, it's gonna be hard for him to, to move, try to move your leg. And my goal is to keep his heel as close as I can towards his butt, okay? Against his butt. If I go like this, right, um, it's gonna be hard for me to control his leg. So he can extend the leg, you see? He can go for a lasso or he can push my chest right here with the shin. I just do a little push right inside his knee, okay? So I bring his, his uh, ankle right close to my elbow here in the middle of my arm. So I'm here fighting Indy, I'm trying to grab his collar. He's not allowing me to grab his collar. Both knees on the floor so I don't give space to him. And then I go here, see? At the same time I'm pushing, I'm extending my arm really quick. And then I, I catch his leg. Okay, so once I do that, try to move the leg. He's gonna try to move the leg. Now it's, it's a time for me to use the pressure press. Okay, so right here, I'm controlling his belt. Okay, if he's not wearing the belt, I'm gonna control the, the pants. Okay, I'll go four fingers inside his pants. That's okay as well. Okay, so I grab right here. Okay, again, so his, his shin is on my armpits, so I need to bring his ankle right here, okay? I just do a little push, and then I catch his leg. Once I catch the leg, now I'm gonna start putting my head, and I need to be able to see my hand right here, okay? I need to put my, my head on this side here, all right? I cannot be with my head in the middle, either on this side. It must go to this side right here, and I'll be in a tripod position, like a plank position, okay? Sometimes his knee's gonna be out like this, okay? If his knee is not like that, it's, it's going to be hard for me uh, to pass his guard. So what I need to do, it's a must for me to step over his uh, thigh, okay? So I go with my elbow really close to my, to my body like this, and my forearm on top of his, his leg, just like a chicken wing, okay? Like this. I cannot go like this, though, to pass his guard. Because then and you can get the kimura on me. Yeah, and a lot of times people, they commit this mistake. So when you go, it's your elbow going over like this. Go for more. He can't. Now I go over his leg and I'll be with my toes on the mat and knees off the mat right here. Okay? So now with this hand, okay, I go around his muscle right here, around his thigh, all the way. So I go right here, like this. Okay? And I'll squeeze and twist his leg, making sure I force his toes to face this way, okay? Another mistake that people commit on this pass is like keeping the toes of the opponent this way. So when they try to pass, the opponent will follow, will follow you, okay? So I gotta control the muscle here and I twist him and I walk towards this side first. You see how he's facing his toes towards the other way? Now, I keep my knees pinched and I just hop over his toes with my shin and now I pass my 
my knee under, connect my knee on my elbow. Now I let go of the butt right here. And I start searching for the four fingers inside his collar here. Okay? And that's what I grab. In the beginning of the pass, your opponent will push you really hard. He's gonna push you, he's gonna try to turtle, he's gonna try to move that way, okay? Now it's a matter of uh, how you manage the weight on top of your opponent, okay? Sometimes, if you're starting that way and I keep my knees off the mat, he's gonna flip me over, okay? So let's say, as soon as I pass, I keep my toes and my knees off the mat and, and then he start rolling that way, I can kind of like lose balance here, okay? So if you're turning that way, turn that way and I drop my knee on the floor, okay? If you turn to me, turn to me and that's when I push. Understand? So it's always, when he face to you, you take your knees off the mat pushing away. When he face away from you, you drop the knees on the floor. You need to manage that uh, weight on top of your opponent when you pass in the guard, okay? You're not gonna be the full time the whole time, you turn these off the mat. As soon as I pass here, okay, I get right here, he start turning, turning, and I drop my knee, okay? Turn to me and push. Turn away, drop my knee, okay? So that way you manage your weight, because your hip has the weight on this side. And if you start pushing, you, he can turn it, you understand? And when I drop my knees on the floor, it's very important to keep my, my thigh under his thigh to lock his face. So as soon as I pass here, I got the pass, I go under hook right here, grab four fingers inside, and he start turning. I drop, but look, my, my knee is really close to my elbow, not giving me any space. I cannot be here. So then he's gonna recover the guard again. Okay? So stay really close to the hip. Turn away, stay here. Turn to me. Push. Once you start moving, that's when you let go of the leg. You're gonna go here. You let go, and then go with your head really close to his head. I go here, like this. If he's turning the back, turn your back. If he's turning away for you, like this. You're not gonna let go this way. The way you're gonna, the way you're gonna go is gonna be like this. Okay, sit down. And you can control like this. I like this grip. Here, and then you start attacking his back. Okay? That's the only technique we're gonna work tonight, okay? Again. So Andy's like, he's just full guard. Stand up, Andy. Let's say Andy just full guard here. Immediately I, I start getting the position. Okay, I close the space, I shut down the space. I control for fingers inside spins or the belt. Okay, push away, extending my arm, make sure his ankle is right on my elbow, like this. And now, I swallow, I bring his knee between my legs. Okay. If his leg is too long, don't go like this, right? So chicken wing, step over, and now, walk towards his leg first, try to make the baby hook. Arch to make the hook, into the knee, pass. Now look, try right here. Face away from me, Andy. Face, face away, face away. Drop your knee, face to me. Push, face away. Drop your knee, face to me. Push. Once you start moving, you can double unders, control. I like to link my hands here, and then he's gonna move like crazy. I stay here until he starts moving. Then I do something else. Don't try to, to mount right away after you pass because he's still fresh. Make sure you slow him down first. Okay? You guys have any question? No question? Okay. Uh, there's another thing I do here. This is like over under pass, but it's over under pass style, but with the leg trapped. Okay, here. This is very annoying, okay? Like anyone that plays guard and have someone on top of them like doing this, they're gonna feel really, uh, in a really big trouble, okay? Really hard to escape from this. Once I trap here, it's really hard. 
Another thing I do here, let's say if his leg is too long, let's say I'm fighting someone with a long leg and I'm here or I'm like between his leg like this. I gotta be careful with the omoplata because he's gonna break the knee on this side he's gonna try to get the omoplata on me, okay? So it's very important to keep the foot at least between your legs, okay? And one thing that I do here when I'm trying to press here, let's say Andy's pushing me away, pushing away Andy. And if he's not allowing me to put my shoulder on him, what I like to do, I like to go away from him. I turn all the way, I put his hand on the floor, and I turn and face this way here. And I push him like this, okay? And I go immediately to like a leg drag here. Probably he's gonna try to invert, try to go to the escape. That's when I start attacking his back and then getting the hook, okay? So it's like, Try to pass, right? Try to get a chicken wing to step over his leg, but he's not allowing me to do that. He's pushing me away. I'm like, okay. I just put my hand on the floor, face 90 degrees from him, and do like a throw by using the hip. Okay? I can do it with my knees on the floor. I can stand up too if I want, but with the knees on the floor, you're going to be closer to him. It's going to be easier. Just like this. Any pull guard, I'm <clears throat> trying to get this smash. Yeah, here he's like pushing me really hard. I go like this. Okay, now I grab the collar, either sim, sim side collar or tri side collar, seat belt, and then make sure you bring it to your lap. Okay, now I start attacking you. First hook, second hook, and I'm in a great position. I use this against black belts, it works really well. Okay, again. First one, I'm here, I put my weight on him. Okay, make sure his foot is always between your legs, okay? Trap the leg, chicken wing, step over, turn his muscle, walk towards the side of the legs, reach your knees, hop over, don't try to go like this, okay? Just, just wipe your leg, here. And then underhook the arm, turn him. Knee on the floor, next to me, push. Knee two, and press the guard. Okay. Second option, again right here, I'm trying to get it swallow the knee. I try to step over over the knee here, step over with my thigh over his knee here. But he's not letting me do that. Okay, he calls the leg too much. I feel like he's pushing me. Okay? Look how I move away in the fight. Go ahead. He's fighting here, go like this. Same guy. And then, okay, this is something that I figure out. Like I, I learned the, this strap, then I start using this throw, hip throw by, boom, right? So it works really well. You guys have any question? Yes. After you do the leg leg work and your head is by his hip, how do you start getting? Sometimes I get inverted triangle. Uh, you know how they keep your pressure on your head, and then once I start to release my arm, I end up. Oh yeah, you know with this it's harder for me to get the reverse triangle. Yeah, I might have normal. Yeah, yeah. If I go under here, yeah. that's when he got it. You know, like let's say I get here and then I pass, and that's when he, he goes for the, the triangle, right? But because my arm is over, it's a little bit harder for him to do that. When I go, there's no reverse triangle. I can even go with my hand on this side. But I have no problem right there. Maybe the solution for you is instead of underhook, like try to get the machine trap. Question? More question? No? You sure? All right, let's go. Happy Friday. One, two, three.